when foreigners firstly approach Vietnam properties for investment, they usually face this, this, and this. I know that sounds terrible, but 99% of the problems can be solved after watching this video. You will get this, this, and this. Without even try, there are three principles I'm going to show you that will level up your property investment skills in Vietnam instantly. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about the real estate system in Vietnam. Unlike in many other Western countries, where agents often work under a strict regulatory framework, the system here is a bit more informal and varied. In Vietnam, many people operate as real estate agents and practically anyone from the convenience store owners to the rap drivers can become a realtor if they have the information of the property for sale or rent. These individuals are often referred as CO, a term used for unofficial and unprofessional realtor. Typically, they know the basic details of the properties like price or size, but lack of the expertise to provide the in-depth analysis, price comparisons, future value forecasts, or legal verification. If you're looking for comprehensive services, such as advice on whether a property is worth purchasing, legal check, or post-purchase services, you can't rely on these calls. Instead, you will need to find a professional realtor. Identify a genuine realtor in Vietnam can be tricky since although realtors in Vietnam are required to have a license, there is no practical way to verify this. Unlike in other countries where asking a realtor to show their license is a common practice, even if you are asking the realtor for a license in Vietnam, it might not give you the assurance that you're looking for. Getting a realtor license here is quite easy. It typically requires a month of reviewing exam questions and paying the exam fee. As a result, holding the realtor's license doesn't necessarily reflect the realtor's professionalism or legitimacy. Instead, you should look at their track record. This can include their website, social media presence on a platform like YouTube, LinkedIn, or referral from previous clients. Checking these resources online before meeting them can give you a good sense of their credibility. When you finally meet in person, their professionalism reflected in their appearance how they address your questions and the solutions they propose will help you determine if they are the right realtor for you. In Vietnam, agents often handle both rentals and sales, and it's common for them to work on multiple properties at once. The market moves fast, and keeping up with the current listings and the client demands can be challenging. But it's this fast-paced environment makes the job exciting. And yes, sometimes stressful. My day starts early and often involves juggling different tasks at once. From meeting with clients to show properties, negotiating deals, and handling paperwork, it's a constant hustle. The reality of the market here is that when I receive the client's demands, if I have the direct listing that matches, it's straightforward to connect the client with the property. However, this isn't always the case. The market in Ho Chi Minh City is vast with numerous districts. Each contain countless of properties for sales and rents. In most cases, I need to collaborate with co-agents who specialize in the specific areas where my clients are looking. This can mean working with multiple co-agents simultaneously, especially if the client want to view properties across different districts. While my extensive network of agents makes this process smoother, the challenge arises when a client sends their demands through multiple agents at once. Imagine one client's request being distributed among several agents, who in turn reach out to 
multiple code agents to find matching listings. This can create a flurry of activity in the market, giving the impression that there is a high demand, when in reality, it's just one client's request being amplified by various agents. This situation can stir up the market unnecessarily, making it seem more hectic than it actually is. To avoid this, here is a tip. When it's beneficial to reach out to several agents in the verification phase, once you have identified your top picks, it's crucial to streamline your communication. When you're ready to give out your property demands, work with one agent at a time. Start by giving the first agent three to five days to find and present suitable listings. If they come back with enough options, proceed with the viewing through that agent before moving on to the next one. This approach helps prevent the market from becoming overwhelmed by redundant requests, ensuring a more efficient and focused property search. To stay ahead of the game, you, as a potential buyer or renter, can set yourself up for successful by being clear about what you want. The more precise your goals and plans are, the better the outcome you achieve. Here are a few tips to help you get started. First, be clear about your needs. The more specific about what you are looking for, the better. Whether it's your budget, preferred location, or type of property, clear communication helps us find the best options for you. Be patient and flexible. Finding the perfect property can take time, especially in the fast-moving market like Vietnam. Being patient and open to different options can make the process smoother for both you and your agent. Respect the agent's time and effort. Remember, agents only earn a commission when the deals are closed. We invest a lot of time and effort into finding the right property for you. So mutual respect and understanding go a long way. Discuss fees upfront. In Vietnam, agents' fees can vary. So it's important to discuss and agree on this upfront to avoid any misunderstandings later. Many people don't realize the amount of work that goes on behind the scene. It's not just about showing properties. It's about truly understanding the client's needs, staying update on the latest market trends, and being available almost 24-7. The stress can be overwhelming, especially when deals fall through or when clients have unrealistic expectations. But despite the challenges, I love this job because of the connections I make and the satisfaction of helping someone finding their home. I had great clients who gone out of their ways to show appreciation, treating me to lunch or dinner surprising me with gifts like wine, flowers, cakes, or even lucky money. These gestures are deeply appreciated and serve as reminders of why I continue to push through the tough times. Sometimes a simple thank you in response to an email with project information makes my day. It's these moments fuel me, reminding me to stay strong and persistent in this journey. There are times when I ask myself, who am I? What am I? Because I just don't feel like a realtor. I'm a copywriter for my blog, a cameraman and the editor for my clips, and a leader for my team. Sometimes I even forget why I started. But deep down, I know exactly why. I do all of this to elevate the quality of service I provide to my clients. It's about giving them the exceptional experience they deserve as a way of saying thank you for choosing me. Our paths cross for a reason. 
and I'm committed to delivering the professionalism and persistence that I expect from myself so that we can meet on the same level of understanding and trust. Working with a real estate agent in Vietnam can be an incredibly rewarding experience if both parties are on the same page by understanding the unique aspects of the market here and being clear about your expectations. You can help us find the perfect property. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more real estate insights. See you next time.